All right, man, let's do it. All right, sweet as. Um, I just finished listening to your new album, Rituals, and I've got to say, man, it's a really kick-ass album. I love uh, Under Rapture. I think that was one of my favorite songs off the album, the one with uh, uh, Ross Dolan. Man, it was a really cool album. Um, can you just tell me about how the recording process went? It's a very diverse album. What did you want to um, you know, get out of it? Yeah, man, you know, this record, is, we worked very hard on it since last year. You know, I think we started working on this around... Um, um, September of last year, and uh, we spent the whole whole October, whole November. So it's a whole year to make a record like this the right way. Uh, we actually entered the studio January 2nd. It was like celebrating New Year's, and then the like, next day get ready to get packed, go to California to record. Um, but it came out really great. I love the collaboration. Ross is great on, on, uh, on the Rapture. Mm. Um, being an Immolation fan, I, I could not help but love the song. And Randy did great on that behind the eyes, you know, great, great track, great voice. I'm a big Randy Light fan. Um, I love the record in general. I think Ritual, the song Ritual stands out, is one of the classic Soulfly songs for the ages. Mm. Um, there's a lot of cool tracks on the album, Summoning, um, Demonize, you know, Blood on the Streets. And even Feedback is a bit more like a rock and roll, motorhead kind of a song. Yeah. Um, it's a fun record, I think. You know, it's it's angry, heavy, but fun. You know, it's actually it, it, it's enjoyable. I think that's that's what I wanna uh, the word I was looking for. Um, I think when you listen to ritual, you get you engage with it. I think it's it's kind of cool. It, it draws you in. It makes you wanna be part of the experience. Yeah, definitely. It's uh pretty amazing that after all these years, like the music that you're putting out is just as good as you know whatever was with the Sepultura and the early Soulfly. Like the quality is just as good as ever, if not better. Um, Eddie keeps staying so inspired after all these years. It's it's, it's hard. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, man. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of it is what I listen to. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sponge. I'm a musical sponge. I listen to all mm. kinds of stuff, a lot of new stuff. You know, everything from Bowser to Gay Creeper, um, and all the way to, to, to Genocide Pact, to, to Outer Heaven. Mm. Um I, I, I'm, I'm a huge metal fan, so I, I'm, I'm a huge, huge nerd when it comes to metal. I make lists of bands that I want to check it out. I try to get in contact with them, support the underground. So it's a bit back to how it was when I first started Sepultura, because I was, you know, tape trading with Chuck from that and uh, trading with Morbid Angel. So mm. it's similar to what I do right now with this new band. So um, as far as the music itself... Um, I'm very um, critical of myself, you know, I'm very, I don't settle for, for just good, it has to be killer, it has to be great, you know, so mm. when I'm in the studio, I'm very demanding of the other guys, I'm very demanding on myself, the shit needs to, gotta, it really gotta hit hard, it really gotta be on point, you know, otherwise it doesn't cut in the hour, in fact, we, we throw a whole song away, on ritual that, that we didn't feel was strong enough to be on the album. We ended up scratching the whole song and, uh, you know, it just didn't make the cut. But, uh, yeah, I, I really love what I do. I'm a, I'm a passionate guy for what I do. Um, those records are made with, full, with, with my whole heart. And I think they're very honest albums. Just I think people can see through the honesty you know when you're bullshit, you know, metal fans, they have a bullshit detector, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if you try to bullshit them, you get caught and you'll be fucked. Yeah, um, definitely. So I think, like, on that area, I think we're pretty safe. I think uh, I think Ritual is a very honest record from beginning to the end. Um, it feels like a good record. It feels like a solid record. It's like the Soulfly record I wanted to write for a long time, and I finally did it, you know, and... uh yeah, I don't know. Working with with Josh was great. Josh Wilbur was a great producer. Mm. Um, the collaborations was great. The album cover came out great. You know, the art was good. Like a good team. You know? Team making the record. Yeah. And you also put out a new album not too long ago with uh, Cavalier Conspiracy, uh, Psychosis, and I really like that album too. It really reminded me of like old school Sepultura. Um, what are your thoughts on that album, you know, looking back six months later? 
Yes, I called was one of my favorite records, actually, I made in a long time. I still listen to that right now. I love it. I still, even though we have not even toured, we haven't even toured for that record yet. I think hopefully next year we can do a little bit of, of touring for Psychosis. Um, it's a very strange record. It doesn't have the big hooks like the Soulfly records have, or even some of the Sepultura uh, later records have, but it has this kind of underground vibe of like schizophrenia. It really takes me back to the schizophrenia uh, era. Even the name psychosis, schizophrenia, is a bit similar. And uh, I think you can draw parallels about about those two records in a big time. And I think psychosis just embraced the sound of right now. Mm. Um, Arthur's production was amazing. He's a great, you know, he did Power Trip and uh, Inquisition. He's a great producer. And the tracks came out great, man. You know, they're really, really cool, really fun, insane. You know, um, Spectral War. Those are all really fun, mm. really fun songs to play. Yeah, I definitely love that one. I saw you play last year in Australia when you did the Return to Roots tour, and I had a lot of fun. You know, the cl- classic album, so it was really good to see it live finally. Uh, how did that tour go for you, firstly? And do you think you'll come back soon with Soulfly to Australia? That tour was amazing, and I, I think every journalist I've, I've been doing interviews with Australia, everybody was at those shows. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I think the whole country showed up for those. Uh, yeah. That's why it was it was packed everywhere. It was like sold oh, out yeah. everywhere. It was killer. Um, what a great great tour! What a great time we had in Australia. Uh, it was it was awesome. I mean, the last couple of times in Australia with Killer PQ was amazing. With uh, with Return to Roots was great. You know, with, with Cavalera because we see with. Uh, you know, it was also really, really cool. Um, um, I think, uh, I hope next year we can come back. I, I would like to come back with, with uh, uh, Nelbaum and Soulfly together because I think uh, we did Nelbaum in America, but we never did it in Europe or anywhere else. And because it's almost the same people that plays in Nelbaum, if they play in Soulfly, we could actually do that together. And I think that would have been cool. In the same night, you could hear a whole point blank and then a whole full set of Soulfly with Ritual. I think that would be a, 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 a metalhead, you know, dream come true. And to me, it would have been really cool, too. I hope I could uh, hang hang with my voice for both night, for both shows like that. But uh, um, ideally, it would have been really cool. Maybe, hopefully, next year we get to do that. Yeah, I hope so. I'd love to see Point Blank as well, because I love that album, classic. So you're doing that one with Soulfly. Are you instead of Nail Bomb? What's that? You're doing the Point Blank album with, uh, you play that with Soulfly now instead of Nail Bomb. How's that, like, how does that album go yeah, down? Yeah, like? we did the whole record, it was cool, with Soulfly playing Point Blank, and with my son Igor doing keyboards and Alex's voice, um, hmm. and which he did great. He really, really, um, kill it in Alex's voice, was also amazing. Uh, really fun, man. Point Blank's a really fun record to play. It's, it's, it's a, a beast of an album. Mm. It's angry. It's fucking pissed off. It's pure, thousand percent hate, especially for right now for the the Trump era that we are living. <laughs> the album is made for right now, so <laughs> it's, like, it's perfect. So we feel that we need to tour more. Uh, uh, no more. We need to do more, a little bit more touring for that before we retire. That mm, for sure. Um, I just want to ask you. You didn't. Another song recently as well called uh, Voodoo of the Gods, that, that was with uh, your friend David Ellison that also played in Soulfly back in the days, and um, that was with Metal Allegiance. What did you think of, what was it like to you know play with David after all these years? I was not actually in the studio with him when he wrote it. Like, he wrote the song without me, and mm-hmm. uh, he just gave me the song, the instrumental for me to put vocals on. Uh, but David's a great guy. Um, he played in, in Prophecy, uh, he did, even did the video prophecy with us. Mm. Um, when he asked me to be part of that, I was extremely happy and very honored. And he wrote a tribal song for me, man. You know, it was killer. It was our everything was up my alley. You know, it was just yeah. a matter of finding inspiration, and uh, inspiration came in a form of Serpent in the Rainbow, which is kind of a Wes Craven nightmare, voodoo nightmare kind of uh, movie. And awesome. I got a lot of the lyrics for that from that movie, and uh, yeah, so I, I call it Voodoo of the God Sand, and 
it's just kind of a tricky, trippy name, kind of like really kind of exotic kind of name. But mm-hmm. yeah, I did some chanting. Again, the same, uh, I think I was inspired when I did that Voodoo the God Sent was same kind of time that I was doing uh, Ritual. So mm-hmm. I ended up doing some of the chanting on Ritual also, on, on the Ritual album. Because um, it's all, the tribal thing is, it hits home with me, man. It's just killer. I love it. You know, every time I have a chance to do something that's uh, a tribal oriented material, I go for it. You know, it's always fun. Yeah. There was uh, some pretty sad news recently with the passing of Vinnie Paul, and I got to meet him once, and he was pretty much one of the nicest guys I've ever met in the world. I was just wondering, what, what were your experiences like with Vinnie Paul, and do you remember the first time meeting him? Yeah, we toured together a lot. We, I mean, we, we did Sepultura with Pantera, we did Soulfly with Pantera and Morbid Angel. Vinnie was always nice, and he come to see me all the time. You know, him and his brother came to see Soulfly first time we played in Dallas. Back in '99, '98, um, they were huge, awesome fans and really good guys. You know, very. I think the whole era is all. You know, the Texas Brothers. Uh, mm-hmm. It's almost like a whole era is gone, and it's very sad to me um, yeah. to, to to think that the whole era is actually gone. Um, especially the two brothers, uh, miss you know, dead now. It's really, really sad, but. They created some great music, and he was a great drummer and a great guy. And uh, so, definitely left they left a mark in the metal world, you know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, Max, that's actually all the questions I've got written down. But uh, your new album, uh, Rituals, comes out uh, well, tomorrow. Wow, tomorrow comes out. So uh, look out for it, people. It's gonna it's an excellent album. I just finished listening to it. Kicks ass. Uh, congratulations on the album, Max. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate talking. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you in Australia, brother.